All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us look at planting this structural drawing and to under the topic of cones. Topic of cones. So let us look at figure 6.1. Figure 6.1. So the very first thing that you have to do, you have to draw the given view. So draw the given view according to which scale. Read the question. This is figure 6.1. Eh? So. 6.1 6.1 is right here so they are saying figure 6.1 illustrate on a conical hopper fitted on a what on a square duck and cut obliquely uh, to develop the pattern to make the hopper uh, the radius line method must be what must be applied so use the what the one point uh, one is to two uh, uh, a scale so it's a reduction scheme so let's draw the given view so this is the given view this is what will be given Luckily enough here yeah, we are even given the solution so this is going to be your first step uh, followed by this one so at the end of the day this is what you have to get so uh, we see a dimension of 169 so we are going to say 169 divided by the reduction scale so which means it's 84.5 you understand 84.5 divide by 2 why because of now the 2 is coming from we want to get the what the radius isn't so your answer is a uh, 42.25 so you open your compass to 42 there's my 40 41 is yeah there is 42 eh? so you come somewhere left hand little bit up you draw this little bit up you draw this faint after you throw it like this so you can have a horizontal center line and a vertical center line vertical and horizontal this is horizontal isn't it then from there from here i can now measure 20 millimeter from here and going down i can have constructional faint line and i can now construct this one construct this one so so remember that the base is cut as well. This base is cut as well, you understand. So now what are we going to do? Uh, from here till there is 198. 198 divided by 2. Divide by 2 is 99. So from here going down 99 millimeter. Ninety-nine millimeter is right here. The ninety-nine millimeter is right there. You understand? So now, just raise this one just a little bit, so that I can have this one like this, this one like that. You, you you understand then from there what is happening so let's see another dimension so we are told this from here till there is 135 135 divided by 2 reduction scale is 67.5 so from here going up isn't it from here till there is 67.5 which is what with just 67.5 so always your 67.5 there is 67.5 is right there so where your 67.5 ends you are going to put your your what your angle 30 degrees opening in an anti I mean in a clockwise direction you understand you are told Uguti, 
this angle this one so from there till there is neat so from here till right there it's dark which is this one from there till there then now have this one solid you understand and again we having a dimension of 60 from here till the 60 so let's get that 60 which is going to be 30 there is your 30 isn't it it's going to be a 30 why 30 was a, a 60 divided by 2 isn't it so it's giving us 30 so the 30 the, the the 30 actually converted to a scale all right so now let's see what do we have what do we have now this one we've correlated it so from here till there it seems to be a missing dimension you understand but we are told that it's actually this construction that is coming up there so the very first uh the second step that we can do now is to divide your circle into 12 equal parts. Remember, we've got two methods of dividing the circle into 12, uh, into 12 equal parts. You can use your set square like this, or you can use your your what your your drawing compass. You understand? So two method. So you can select any of your choice. You understand so which means i can come to say i've got a zero here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven back to zero you understand so now we are going to take them vertically once they touch the bottom uh, uh, part of your cone you stop there because they must be directed to what to your apex point so you stop there there you go you stop there three and nine is already there four and eight that they will be in the same line stop there five and seven in the same line you understand so once they touch the bottom uh, part of your cone they are going to change uh, to go to what to your apex point up there so it's constructional line isn't it so which means even here I can indicate with hidden details to symbolize that this was a full cone action there you go faint From there, here we go. This uh, three and nine, they're already there. So take this uh, four and eight. Like this, they go. From there, there they go. You, 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 you understand. So now, what was seems to be missing? What was seems to be missing way right there, right here eh? from here till there, it has aut automatically came out for itself. Eh? So, which means now, without fear or favor, we know what from here till right here is hidden, it's dark, not hidden. Then, so that from here go up, you understand. The moment I'm going up like this, I am talking about this line now from here till there, you understand. And then now I can come back to what to draw this one solid and complete it by closing here, you understand, which is this one now, which is this one. So we've 
finally, uh, uh, finally uh, uh, through the what the given view, the given view. So now we are going to start. Let's start by further extending this line just a little bit like this. There you go. There you go. Like this you go. Like this you go. Like this we go. So we are going to make use of what of a uh, apex point. Your examination room. Start with this one before you even uh, uh, go down there and see what is happening. You understand? Because this one is simple, straightforward. You are taught there by N1. So you are going to have point plotted diagonal. So we, you, we, you mustn't find yourself having two points at the same line. You understand? Once, so this is uh, this is the line of one. So must intersect with one. So this is line of one that goes must intersect with one this side. Yeah, one. So that is why we are having a point there. So this is the line of two must intersect with the two. This is two. Yeah, one. So this is the line of three, which is the center line, must intersect with the three. So that's how it, it goes. This is the line of four must intersect with what? With four. So same applies to this side, which means uh, four. Remember that four. 4 is in the same line with what with 8 that is why when we we get this side we'll be considering 8 so in shortly it will be moving diagonal corners like this there you go there you go there you go there you go everyone so then you join it using freehand or flexi curve you do not use a ruler here but this point they must be plotted visible like this i must be able to see them <clears throat> so that's how your development is going to look like on the upper part yeah, yeah. but remember on the uh, bottom part here yeah, 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 we, is, yeah, yeah, we are having something there is cut it as well it's cut it there so now you are going to say this this is the point isn't it there it goes that goes let me view it very well for you so between point uh, four and five there is a point x eh? this x is also affecting uh, there by the side of eight and seven you understand so how do you get that there by your development so you are going to get it like this come to your front view you take this small onion portion like this, this is it. You have to be accurate. Yes, this is it. Now you come uh, 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 between point 0.4 ahead to what? 2.5, which means I will come and mark it here. And mark it there. This is that X. Hey, one. And then again, 0.4 ahead to 0.5 this is that x mark it like this like this and then again is between 8 and 7 so 8 and 7 near to 8 ahead to 7 there you go then I mark this side understand so this is that x so what duty what, what do you do with that so you take this point uh, straight to what to apex point in your development site there you go further extend it just a little bit up out you understand and then i come this side i do again this one to my apex point again so which means from here till right there i can hear i can now draw it solid again from here to right here you can draw it solid let's do it okay now draw this one from here till the solid so 
solid then you come this side again as I'm having a smaller throw compass dark here this is not acceptable two lines they are not acceptable uh, you must get one line you understand so it's going to be solid from here till there so from here till here there's something happening here so now let's see how are we going to get to that we are going to place your take your drawing compass you place it there by your apex point again like this we go further extended to that point this one eh? then now you come to your development site then you have this one as solid and not solid constructional line right uh -huh. so this is that x which they are talking about right there from your what from your auxiliary view top view eh? like this then from there what is uh, is going to happen so this line this line of ours is going to be is going to give us a point there by five and seven five and seven so that now from x to this point is what it's a straight line like this and from x of this other side to that point it's a what it's a straight line again there then from here till there it's not a straight line so like this you go so that's how you develop this uh, uh, cone cut it at angle of 30 on the upper part so that's how you go about it so thank you very much guys see you on the next video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video give it a thumbs up see you in the next video okay that was mr Kosi for you okay